students welcome back to arc tutorials this is yet another app review session in today's episode I'm going to review notion app notion is one of the best productivity app and organizer app which can be used by an individual small teams and even an enterprise let's get started all right so let's talk about the features first what is notion notion is your ultimate workspace for organizing everything from daily tasks to teams to calendar and much more it's an all-in-one productivity platform that combines note-taking task management and collaboration tools in one intuitive interface it's designed for individuals and teams that simplifies organizing ideas tracking projects and centralizing information it offers a lot of custom templates databases calendar real-time editing comments it also includes seamless integration with other tools like Slack, Google Drive, GitHub, and much more. The best part is that it can be used for various use cases like project management, CRM, or say invoices, much like you can customize the entire app based on your need. <coughs> if you are into IT, you can also add tables, boards, etc., and make your own application out of it. So basically, Notion is do-it-yourself application and you can customize based on your need now if you look here this is the website that you will go notion.com now here you can write plan collaborate all from within if you can take a look here you can use it to create tasks you have the beautiful calendar that you can use you can also use it to link websites create a standard website you can create onboarding documents stand up metrics analytics dashboard agile projects scrum board and much more <coughs> there are a lot of uh, documents that are available already that you can use you can customize the workflow that you want and everything basically uh, that your company would need as a to run okay your AI everything app is what it is being called by Forbes let's talk about pricing for pricing I love it because it's free <coughs> it's absolutely free so you can see that uh, you can actually get a lot of things done for free however if you are an enterprise looking for a uh, more features or more advanced um, functionality you can go with uh, the plus plan or business or enterprise depending on your need but I think as an individual as a freelancer as someone who is organizing their own work you should go with the free plan that's what I always encourage our community it also you can also add notion AI with eight dollars that's an extra thing not included in the AI uh, for free but yeah you can go ahead and start using it I use it uh, as a you know um, in my local if you see I have notion and I use it heavily to plan my work etc all of that so yeah I love it and I'm sure you will love too. so go ahead give it a try and let me know um, your thoughts if you have used or if you have any better tool do recommend in the comment section thank you so much for joining in this episode happy exploring apps thank you